Hello. Oh, keep saying something went wrong. Try again. Thank you, my darling. Um, hi everyone. We are live. Sunday sister session number 14. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late just because I had a headphone issue, so I am just going to plug my headphones in. Hey sis, here she is. Give us a wave and join me. Woo! I don't know what that was. Connect. So, um, hello. I was sat there feeling so smug, like I'm early. <laughs> I've got my writing sorted, and then you went. Sorry, there was a delay. I had an issue with my headphones. And I went. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Love I'm it. doing so well until I wasn't. Are you? Oh, there she is. I thought you were lying on the floor. I was like, are you going to say you were doing well until you fell over, or? <laughs> Um, so, if, if anyone hasn't watched this before, we're the crazies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, hit subscribe, hit the bell button so that you get notified every time we're live. And then you can avoid us, you see? There's method in that madness. <laughs> <laughs> then you can avoid us. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. How thank you. Me. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, <laughs> it's yay! so lovely to see you. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Gosh. You I know you're not lovely. meant to be. Oh, thank you. I'm yeah, in my Tesco nice. onesie I again. That. I love that onesie. I, mm. I, I, that's the only I can show you all of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it's your so... hair. Oh, thank you. I've done a little side sweep. Mm. Love yeah, it, really I think I had it like this for my wedding, actually, I think. Didn't I think I? you did. Something. Yeah. yeah. I think you did. Yeah, and my mad, like, again, another mad dash, like, I'm going to do my, oh, God, no, I'm going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Look lovely, though. Thank Mine, you. Mine, on the other hand, looked awful for my wedding. Let's not talk <laughs> about your wedding scenario, shenanigans, because it still upsets me. <sighs> yeah, I, I mean, sorry. I, it's, yeah, like... <laughs> Everyone's like, what? What happened? <laughs> yeah, but it's also like it upsets you. It was my wedding. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, because I feel responsible because I introduced you to that makeup artist, didn't I? Oh, and let you down. Did you? I think no, so. No, or did, oh, no, no, no. I, you supplied I got the, the makeup one artist at the last minute. Because in the last the one minute. that I had let me down. Yes, at okay. At the very yes. last minute. And yeah. um, so I had no one to do my hair and makeup. Um, and then yeah, that was it. Someone out the bag for my makeup. Oh, that was it. Someone out the bag. Yeah, but it still wasn't quite perfect how you wanted it. And I just wish. But anyway. Well, no, my makeup. Anyway, this is another chat. But um, <laughs> no, my makeup was how I wanted it. It was my hair that wasn't. And the. Didn't hair... she do the hair as well? Oh, no, it was someone no. The went. hairdresser okay. was late and turned up at the same time as the makeup artist. So they had to do my hair and makeup at the same time, and I was sat on a mattress. Yeah, it was so uncomfortable. Not happy. It was, I was stressed. Yeah. I would have been Any sweating food. buckets. <laughs> hey, pussycat, Kelly says. Hey. That's, oh, that's because she's seen my there post was... where I got dressed up as a pussycat for Halloween. Oh, yes. I realised I didn't have a costume, and I was like, fail-safe Halloween standard kit is being a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So I put black leggings, a black t-shirt on, and then just some ears with a wig. I was like, done. And, and serious awesome. makeup as well. Yeah. But yeah. I <laughs> like it. Oh, what are you drinking? What's I'm, that? Have you got... I'm drinking wine. Oh, wine. I thought you had a gin with a slice of orange in it or something, mm. because the way the light's catching it. I yeah, wish. Right? Yeah. I wish. I'm on the um, keto diet again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mum's on that isn't she she was telling me about it i'm like i don't think i could do it serious amounts of um a self-discipline required serious yeah, amount i think i think when you get past day three you fall into a nice rhythm really I, I, i'm on day two at the moment and i keep thinking i want chocolate i want cake i want popcorn like everything that i can't have but um you you do fill up on the meals because it's so many good fats and proteins okay it fills you up so you're not hungry it's just that's not my problem i'm a comfort eater mm, I, I don't eat for hunger i eat because it makes me feel nice like yeah 
I've been Sugar. To, I've been yeah. To, I will go through phases. Um, oh, Nick Kelly, thanks. Joined as well. Oh yeah, and secret, secret, secret spa. So oh, I secret. I work with Secret Spa. So Secret Spa, uh, Ooh, an amazing um, um, uh, spa service that bring the therapist to your door. So if you haven't heard of Secret Spa before, they're amazing. I do facials with them and I do spray tans with them. Um, obviously, at the moment, we are not going to people's houses. Um, <laughs> but I believe, hopefully <laughs> soon, not? some sort of therapeutic massage may be allowed um, and things like that. So we are opening again in December. Um, for I have to ask this question. Do you ever get asked if you do extras? Well, I don't do massage, darling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only because oh, when lockdown God. was over. <laughs> and, you know, I do Reiki, right? So I had um, three phone calls to the point where I thought I was being pranked, right? In a row, like a, with a, a few hours in between and different people asking me, it, what, what is Reiki? And I was, as I told them, and then they're like, um, sorry to ask you a personal question, but do you do anything else? <laughs> any any extras and I was like in the end I was just like I'm sorry I just treat women and, they, and then they were like oh right okay sorry bye like yeah like, I've been so stressed I've been so stressed I really need some relief <laughs> if they asked do you do anything else I'd have gone yeah I do facials too <laughs> yes yes yeah well I did that I did that and then he was like uh and I said I think you're looking for a different kind of establishment oh no <laughs> You know so that's why I asked. It, I have never happen. been asked that question. Touch okay. Wood. But I, I mean, I do re reflexology, facials, and spray tanning. I, but I, I know a lot of massage therapists who have said that they have been asked. Yeah, yeah. I think it's quite co more common than we think. More common than we think, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, so talk. Talking about having a giggle, what yes. is your <laughs> Kelly Kim's? I'm not even going to repeat what you're saying. I know, I know, I saw that comment. I was like, we'll leave that up there on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love Kelly. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so talking about what things make us giggle, what made you giggle this week, Jess? Yes, well, I think our, our um, themes are quite similar, aren't they, today? Yeah. <laughs> It's the Trump Yo. memes all the way. <laughs> but we were, we were so in sync with this. And then, yeah. <laughs> They're just so funny. I'm you, sorry. So you go I'm, first. You say what yours is, because we haven't explained to everyone what, what it is that we're laughing at. <laughs> I can't remember which one is your... Oh, yours, yours is Playgroup, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can't remember which one mine is now because there are a few. Um, well, oh, oh, that's it. The um, hang on, I've written his name down because I've never heard of him before. Oh no, I haven't written. His Basically, name down. okay. The thing that's making us laugh this week is is the pee taking of Trump. I'm really sorry if you're a Trump supporter. I I made the mistake of making a comment on Facebook <laughs> going, like, "Yay, the witch is dead," and I had a couple of friends My... come back and be like. And I was like, oh, sorry, I thought this was safe ground. I thought everyone hated him. Not My hated, husband you know I mean. um, has been catching me up on that Facebook debacle <laughs> just now before I went live. <laughs> He's like reading comments. it all. Because like one of them is our friend. One person yeah. is our friend as well. <laughs> I know, I know. And I was just like, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Oh, what's going on? What's she going to say next? Luckily, yeah. luckily I managed to stay out of it <laughs> yeah it's like I started it did a mic drop and walked yeah. away and then watched the <laughs> you threw the grenade took out the pin and threw the grenade and just, and just watched it happen. I was like oh no oh. but yeah that we were um, <laughs> we've been laughing at the Trump videos that have been circulating <laughs> one by was it Comedy Central I think network yeah. Yeah. CSM is yeah. it and what's your one, Jen? Um, yeah, well, I, I wrote it down, but I didn't print it out. So um, <laughs> one, one of them, I've, I've put the link already in the description. Um, but it's the man who does the interpretation, can't remember his name. Oh, it's I've that never guy on the radio. Think, yes, I know yeah, what you mean. Brad and yeah. someone. And so anyway, he does this hilarious, absolute spit of Trump. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, impersonation. Oh, that's so so good. funny. So good. And my, and my one is is Trump kicking and screaming out of a out of a toddler group. It's just... it's so funny. <laughs> so we have put the links to both videos in our description. Okay, guys, yeah. so check it out if you want to, and if it yes. if it doesn't offend. <laughs> so funny yeah it is really funny i was actually saying um i was talking to our taxi driver who was taking us back to the airport um in saint lucia and we were talking about the presidential election and blah 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 and um i was saying i don't think we've ever had a president or a prime minister that people have had so many so much funny ammunition against him and that mm. I actually watch, I don't support Trump, but I actually used to love it on the news if there was like a Trump speech because it's comedy for me. For me, it was like watching my favourite stand-up. Yeah. I'd just find him <laughs> hilarious. I'd really like, oh, goody, Trump's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. China. Yeah. China. It's all about China. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I know, but it's, yeah. It's funny and not funny at the same time. Yes. So I am um, happy. I'm, you know, yeah. Yeah. I don't want, I'm now scared to say anything in case know, I'm offending right. people. <laughs> he oh. had his place. He had his place. He shook he things did. up. He did. And now yes. I think it is time for him to depart before he goes extra crazy. I, yeah, I feel like there's more to come. Yeah, he's no, not totally going to go gracefully. He's not going gracefully. <laughs> you know what, that... Millennia? We just stay here. <laughs> okay, because I'm the best president yes, there has ever been. been. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you heard it here first. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Um, oh, anywho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to I'm going to download TikTok again and get back into um laughing at TikTok every morning because you that just that, didn't you Oh my god it got me through lockdown and I I think I'm ready for it again yeah. I need my daily dose of laughter from TikTok yeah. Yeah. I'm ready I'm ready yeah. Um so what are we talking about this week So this week get... yes yeah. what yeah. Hmm? Have you, what, oh, what? have you, uh, what, what, me, what, 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 have you got any updates, Lise, anything this week that's been Do going on with you? Do I have any updates with me, with my blood? Mm, <laughs> that would be a no. <laughs> um, <laughs> one update from Josh Jennifer Beauty is yeah. um, <laughs> because um, people can't have facials at the moment, um, I've teamed up with Joe Lab. Yes. Geolab is a, um, is a prescri prescriptive skin, we don't say skin care, but it's a skin brand. Um, yeah. Which you can find out all of the information about Geolab on my feed and things. So I won't go into that now. But I've teamed up with them. And as I'm a skincare specialist, I'm offering 40 minute free skin consultations via Zoom. And you just go onto Geolab's website and in the, I'll put the link to how you can book me and things, but um, you go onto their website and request a free consultation and then all of my timetable comes up of when I'm free and then you can literally book in for a free consultation with me. Get Amazing. Get about any skin concerns you might have or you might just want to talk through your routine and see what you're missing and also yeah. of course to find out how Geolab can fit into your life as well lovely and the best products for you so I'm um, I saw you, you know. took it to Sri Lanka with you oh I did not Sri Lanka St. Lucia didn't you go to Sh oh <laughs> <laughs> I love how I was like oh yes I did <laughs> sorry I've got Sri Lanka on the brain because I really want to go oh yeah, yeah sorry that's on the yeah. brain no I did yeah. St. Lucia and yeah, St. Lucia. Um, my husband used it too so we took enough <laughs> enough capsules he'll kill me for saying that no. he's like the male jury lab um ambassador um, <laughs> he's a very good sport he always there's gets involved no in the lab stuff. men in having good skin there's exactly. no shame in that well do you know what he's got and jake he's looks amazing some, he's had so many comments going oh yeah. god you look young you look yeah you know and he's like mm, well, yeah. <clears throat> it's just me <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, no, so we just packed off all the capsules for him and for me and um, could both use one device, which was great. And um, Lovely. Yeah, and it's got a cute little carry case that I take with me. I love a carry case. I'm such a sucker for a carry case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Terrible. And what I did find out this time round is that it is a great place to store your sunglasses because when you <laughs> go on a flight, you're wet, you're in a hot country, you're wearing sunglasses. And then when you're coming back to the UK, you're, you've got, when you're on the flight and got nowhere to put them, I just pop them in the jury lab, little inside flat and sorted both of our sunglasses. So I mean, it's not really a selling point win. for me. But... <laughs> <laughs> A nice try. <laughs> oh dear. So yes, that's my little bit of update. I am doing yeah. um free consultations. One to one. One to one by Zoom. Um, we're in collaboration with Joe Lab. I mean, look, I would just book in just for the one-to-one sesh, guys, just to talk to Jen. She's great fun. She's lovely to I talk did to. Have, I did have one, <laughs> one male. Thanks, Moose. I did have one male message me on Instagram and say, so I'm kind of really um, worried about my skin and then a <laughs> laughing face. Can I have a one-to-one? <laughs> We're like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. That's no, no. not what it's for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. You've got your, your version of it now. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, exactly. He's like, how you doing? <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, what's dear. Lily saying? Lisa, I love your Kate print. Kate print, my sister had the same in her bit. Oh, Kate Moss. Oh, yeah. My Mario Testina. My sister had the same in her bedroom in the 90s. Oh, my God, that makes me look so old. <laughs> it is true. No. It probably was the 90s, actually, that that exhibition happened at the National Portrait Gallery, and I, and I missed it. This is a really good example, actually, where I was not taking life by the balls, and I don't mean that in the literal sense. <laughs> I... <laughs> no wonder she gets asked if she does extras. <laughs> I mean, they're like, that exhibition was on for ages. I could have bought a ticket. I didn't buy a ticket. I kept thinking, I will, I will, I will, I will. I will, I will. You will, you will, you will. You will, you will, you will. I will. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Until I didn't. Oh, you see, you went. Thanks a lot. Yeah, now I feel even worse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I didn't book a ticket. And then it was gone. It was finished. I missed it. I was gutted. And I thought why did I do that to myself? Like yeah. I knew I wanted to go. I didn't get it organized enough and now I've missed yeah. it. So yeah. instead I went and bought the poster as a reminder to take life by the balls and do what you want to do and don't miss out. Cause like you are the one that can like, you know, you're nice. the one that is going to make your life happen. So make yeah. it freaking happen. I, yes. I, I, and very, I, I like <laughs> that Lise. I did similar. Um, we were, we wanted to go to the Tutankhamun exhibition at the Versace gallery. And we've been saying, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go. And then we never went. And then we tried to book it for Jake's birthday and it had finished. So instead I bought loads of toilet roll. <laughs> Of Holly Willoughby and what's yes. his face? 
in ITV this morning where oh, they're just I laughing. Those. Me too. To laugh from the world last with you. I just literally yeah. sit there and wet myself and wish yeah. I was Holly Willoughby because her I life know. looks so much fun in those. I know. Days. Yeah. Oh dear. And they seem the like campo. they've got a genuinely nice relationship as well. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. the presenters seem to have this bit of a competitive edge about them. Those two actually to seem to genuinely like each other. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's true. right. Okay. I've come back. Oh. <laughs> oh no, she's gone. Okay. Oh, so... <laughs> oh good grief. Um, <laughs> really hot in here now. Yeah, I know. I'm really, really hot. And oh. um, so, what are we talking about this week, niece? Uh, it was, uh, oh yes, okay, so this one, I was, ha- this bath, you know we did a challenge to have a, oh I set one challenge for me to have a bath every day, which seemed a bit weird, but actually it was amazing, and now yes. the bath has turned out to be a massive stress reliever for me, so awesome. any moment where I'm like, I can't cope with this, I just take a bath, and it mm-hmm. <laughs> literally transforms, so I was in the bath, and I was like, right, I've had a busy week, okay, and I'm like, let, let go of all the busy stuff in your mind, you know, yeah. let's switch off, let's try, and it was quite difficult, because there was a lot going on in my mind and as I was trying to switch off and relax I noticed that my face was really like tense kind of thing and my expression I was almost frowning and so, and I thought oh my god like I'm trying to relax and it have a nice enjoyable bath and I'm not even like enjoying it I'm like I have to relax I have to feel good you know what I mean so I was like okay let's try smiling and I smiled and it made such a difference like I thought okay this is actually and then I was reading about there's, there's science behind it, isn't there? That when you yeah. smile, it triggers off things in your brain yeah. and it does actually help Endorphins. with your feelings of well-being. And so I thought, right, I think I'm going to, you know, even I am a very smiley person, like people will verify this. Um, it's not that I'm miso. It's just I think it's so easy when we're busy or stressed or whatever to yeah. get caught up in the thought. I was thinking, how about switching it up as soon as you notice that you're in that space yeah just <laughs> add a smile and, and, see if it, <laughs> and see if it makes a difference to your and a lot of the time you can be not smiling and in a fine mood but actually have that resting bee face and not bee face. it and do you know it takes more muscles in the face to frown than smile oh yes I did know that yeah yeah and you know a smile is infectious it oh is. so I was served by the most miso lady at, at the Tesco fireworks counter <laughs> bless her she was I literally was so excited I bounced in there like a, you know like it was Christmas. I can imagine you doing <laughs> what you got what you doing Hello. how much are they how many have you got oh my god this is my first time buying fireworks like this is my time in my cap. and she was just like can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, how much, where have you got those? She's like, we've only got two left. I was like, oh, okay, which one? And she was like, this one and this one. I was like, well, that one's got a dinosaur on it. What does that mean? And she was like, I don't know. <laughs> and I was like, well, what does it do? I don't know. I was like, well, doesn't it say so? I'm the worst person to be like that with because I will push you until, you what does on. it say? So- yeah, I just keep going. I was like, didn't it say something on the box? And she was like, 90 seconds, that's what it says. <laughs> Better than most households. <laughs> <laughs> She's on fire tonight. I love that. So yeah, I was just like, oh, I, in the end, I made my decision on how loud they were because I really didn't want the dogs to suffer. So I was like, I'll go for the medium volume one. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then when she handed it to, oh, but I, 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 it was a nightmare. I'd chosen the rockets and then after she put it through the till and everything, I then changed my mind. <laughs> wanted the other one so I was like oh she's gonna really hate me but anyway and when she handed it over I was like oh look it does say what it does and I read out the full description and it was really really descriptive of all the amazing things it did and bless her she giggled at the end and I was like oh I managed to break her this is amazing and because uh, I did I never got pissed excuse me like you know rude yeah. back I was just carrying on being myself but noticing her mood and then I was, and then she was like, um, said something. And I was like, oh, is that why you're so unhappy on this counter? Because <laughs> she said, I don't like fireworks. Oh, I see. And I was like, oh, is that why you're so unhappy on this counter? And she was like, yeah. And I realized it must be that she's just a dog owner and, and hates them. And, oh, and like, I 
Do you know what I mean? I thought, yeah. okay, now I get it. Now yeah, I get yeah. it why you're unhappy serving. Mm -hmm. But it did make me laugh how miso she was, but how did, my smile did manage to break her. Yes, it did. And well it is done. infectious. Yeah. It is. If you're not reacting, because mm -hmm. it's so easy to react and be like, it is. Yeah. Give them it the is. hell back that they're giving you, kind of thing, the yeah, attitude. Kill it with kindness. Yeah, killing with kindness. Isn't that the best? It is. I love it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, so that was my little, like, nice story. Good. I like yeah. it. And, and also, I think um, you were saying earlier about, or the other day, about you had made a coffee in the morning. And just... Go on, tell me really, more. <laughs> you were just really noticing how amazing it smelled and that yeah. you were just really, like, sort of reveling in that smell and uh, you know you can go through day-to-day -day tasks and not actually really appreciate those moments mm -hmm. and live in the moment mm -hmm. and I think that's really important too very profound Jen thanks very much like that a lot Gosh. cheers, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> oh can I just do a shout out to Sean Connery oh I know but did you know that he's a wife Beta. Oh no, I didn't know that. Thanks. Yeah, for so many people. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Bloody hell. Next, you're going to tell me that Bruno Mars is an axe murderer. You know, all my favourite people. <laughs> I know, and Sean Connery has been my favourite. Like, he still is my favourite Bond, but he's yeah. the only Bond. He is the only Bond. I mean, he's not there, is he? There's like four yeah, but other. None bonds. of them are any good. I tell you what, if we're <laughs> totally going off topic today, but. If Idris Elba was Bond, whoo, that would get me watching Bond. Yes, please. So he would be a brilliant James Bond. He would be an epic James Bond. Why is he not? And why is he not James Bond exactly. is what I want to know. Oh, we, Molly, got... do you like Daniel Craig? Do you no. like him as Bond? No. No. Molly. Oh. oh, yes, Idris. There we go. She's, she's redeemed oh. herself now. <laughs> Lolly, yes. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, oh, Luther. I haven't seen Luther. Oh, Lu Lisa, you have to watch Luther. Really? I, yes. Really? Yes. Is it scary? No. Oh, I'm so faint hearted. <laughs> I love it. Seriously, watch it. <laughs> Seriously, I don't think I, I don't think I'm in the right place to be watching that. You, George has been getting me into all George. sorts of oh, trouble. Our sister. our sister, making me watch chick flicks with Matthew McConaughey in it. Oh yeah. I don't all need right, a reminder. All, right, all, right, all right. Oh, you can all write me. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not good for me right now, being single, seeing yeah, films with Matthew McConaughey really, in it, and I'm true. sure. Luther will be the same. So, oh, 100%. Yeah, I think I'd rather watch the David Attenborough documentary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, David's quite a hottie. <laughs> no, I just like think of your grandma, think of David Attenborough documentary, that will do it. <laughs> Um, oh. uh, what were we oh, saying though? Matic says I can't watch Luther, it is scary. Oh, you see, <sighs> I have to take Emma's word for that. I was just, yeah. I can't do scary. Okay. All right, fine. Um, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, so, um, self awareness and yes. being mindful, bringing us back, snap back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I need to cough. I'm really sorry. Hang on. I'm going to move my mic. Oh, the dreaded cough. <coughs> she's got corona, everyone. She's got corona. Well, she's I hope you didn't hear that very well. What? Hmm? What? <laughs> I just needed to do a little cough, oh, and I didn't want to do it near the mic. It's all right. When your headphones are out, I was going, she's got corona, everyone. Don't say anything, because <laughs> she can't hear us. She's got corona. Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Dear. But always like, oh, oh yeah, awareness. So, so one other thing is um, understanding our our emotions and our moods. Because when we start tapping into like, when we start when we start by smelling that coffee and realizing that we you know are really liking that aroma and how it's making us feel and maybe then moving on to the next task and how that makes us feel. 
we become more in tune with our emotions and moods. And instead of trying to fix a certain emotional mood, because, you know, yeah. we're all fixers. We all want to fix stuff. You know, instead of yeah. trying to fix it, really just trying to sit with that emotion and that mood and let it resonate yeah and to and and to accept it and to accept that that mood and emotion i think is also another good thing a hundred percent a hundred percent and i think um when you're not in tune with your emotions and you have these you know when you have these random rouse with someone and, you, mm -hmm. and it escalates and you go i don't know why i got so angry and i don't yeah. know why i shouted like that and and you just get lost in it. It's normally because you're not in tune with yourself enough yes. to know. So you end up being taken on a ride yes. by your emotions. Yeah. And yeah. and your the, your thoughts can do the same. They can take you on this ride, and you're a passenger yeah. rather than being the driver. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think um, people that are not tuned into their emotions, a great way to start is to tune into your senses. Yes. Because yes, your senses are sense. the beginning to letting you know what your emotions are. Yeah. Because you will feel it in your body yeah. first yeah. kind of thing. Um, <laughs> and, a, and, and a lot of people lot do shy away from those really raw emotions that they don't want to deal with. So, you know, when, when some people turn to drink um, or if they become workaholics like I do, you don't want to deal with the emotions, you know. Um, but if you can learn to sit with your emotions and to really deal with them you'll find that you'll really get a good really good insight into you because those emotions are telling you something yes and yeah. if you just ignore them and push them away and you're too busy to deal with them and you're this that and this and that and not actually sitting with them then you could miss a really really good bit of insight yeah and um this week especially i've learned that emotion you, emotions don't define you they are just indicators of how something is going for yeah. example yeah so no, like you are not you are not your feelings and your feelings are just indicators to let you know if something's amiss yeah. something's awry it's that's telling, all it is it's, it's flagging something yeah, it's like a light going off on the screen of your car, you know, and you go, oh, yeah. I'm low on petrol, need to yeah. fix that. It's the same, emotions yeah. will let you know. Yeah, what's um, that but gravy we can... boat? Dripping gravy boat. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have like, um, you know, you, like this week I was feeling angry, I said to you, didn't I? I, I was realising I was feeling angry at other people but it was yeah. because I was allowing myself to do things that I wasn't happy with but because I was compromising myself so much I was getting angry I was feeling the anger towards them but yeah. as soon as I put my boundaries in place was like no this is what it is and this mm -hmm. is what I'm doing and I'm not budging from here then the anger went away so it wasn't their behavior that was affecting me it was my yeah. own behavior towards myself you know me not asserting myself and not setting clear enough boundaries and not respecting Bandy. myself enough so yeah. it's interesting but it was nice because I was able to identify okay I'm feeling angry why is that then okay I think it's this right so I might need to change this and not do it in an angry way just set a boundary be like that's what it is and it's not it's not going to yeah, change yeah. okay done dealt yeah. with and then yeah. the emotion went away and the emotion was just there to flag up an issue yeah, nothing exactly. more yeah. Yeah. So that was quite a nice revelation to have this week. Yeah. But what, what, going back to the challenge, though, what we were saying about the senses and everything is um, that is a really great way as well to feel the joy and to feel, the, to feel alive. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel alive. And that's why I think I've said this before, why I love reading books so much, because you slow right down to read a book and to, well, actually, I read slowly. I'm like Emma, who's watching, she doesn't read slow. She reads super fast, but she still gets the same thing that I do which is like you feel like you're living it you know you're breathing and touching it. they describe it in so much detail like in a yeah, novel for yeah. example like you said making your coffee and the aroma and the feel of the glass and the thing and that's why it's really nice as well to have touch points like if you're choosing an item if you're shopping it's so nice to just choose it based on all the touch points as well yeah, choose something yeah. that's not just pleasing to your eye but pleasing to touch yeah. you know like I've noticed that my daughter she loves anything shiny and soft and silky 
she just loves mm. textures like that so I'm gonna get her some silky bedding some like nice. polyester you know because she just loves that and I think when you start to tune into the things that please you and make you feel good yeah that's a great yeah. thing right you're just yeah. gonna start to enjoy yeah. life so much more yeah, yeah. Awesome. when you're tuning into all of your senses yeah Awesome. Uh -huh. all, right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and so <laughs> we are 10 minutes over. Sorry. Guys. Oh, pants. So we're going to set a task, aren't we, this week? A ch I like to say challenge. Oh, sorry. I know. Every every week I write a description and I write task. And then I go, I oh, no. Oh. Lisa says challenge. And I have to delete it. It's just in my, it's just written through my blood <laughs> your task this week yes <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yes so our our challenge this week is going to be to smile every day and it's in those moments when you find yourself having a negative thought or a negative emotion re do a reboot by breathing and smiling yeah yeah and just feel the difference because it helps you get out of the pattern stop yeah. going down the rabbit hole reset yeah and to yeah. and to just and... use your senses and yes really experience every moment as they happen not every single moment but the, yeah you know just be more enjoyable annoyed. moments yeah yeah i'm excited to do this challenge so am i yeah. How did you get on with uh, last week's challenge? Just very quickly. What was last it week's was challenge? It was to oh, swap the... out something I... for the planet. I did a story on it. I did a story did. on it. I Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've done a few stories this week. I did um, recycling hangers. Yeah. I recycled my mascara for the first time with Maybelline. I was so I impressed it. at Maybelline for that. That's so good. And I bought bamboo toilet roll, <laughs> toilet roll theme again. Bamboo because it's sustainable. And yes. also the wrapper is compostable. Was it degradable? Not biodegradable, degradable. but degradable and yeah. recyclable. Nice. So I was nice. really happy with that. And Honey. I also encouraged Redders as well to look at his laundry. He's going to talk to the missus, he said, the boss. Oh, Ooh. what about his laundry? What, the to change powder. the laundry brand, okay. yeah, okay. to an ethical one. That's good. Yeah, That's not not good. me to do as laundry. I know, I was thinking. <laughs> ah, uh, she's really up for the cause. Um, so well, Kelly, Kelly did some bits. Yeah. Yes, what did you do, Kelly? I bought bamboo toothbrushes. Yes, well done. Hey, Amazing. Um, and also you sent us a, couple, a really good link um, to do with the eco... Eco yes. stuff, which was yes. Nice. Um, and, yes, she's oh, got a list. A list of Great. things she could do. Well done, Kelly. Amazing, yeah, Kelly. It's so easy to just um, sit back and think, oh, well, I already recycle and this and that and the other. I don't need to do anything else. But we can all do something more. Yeah. So I think that was really nice, Jen, about the challenge last week because it was just find at it least is. one thing you can do more for and the planet. Can I, and can I, so, so I've done a few things. Yes. But one thing, first of all, that I wanted to talk about, because I promoted it last time, like saying, let's do it, but I'm not happy with the results. So I ordered my Colgate recite, like completely eco-friendly toothpaste. Oh, was, I didn't know they did one. Yes, I, yeah, so I put it in my links last week. Oh, of okay. Recommended products, and I was so excited because I was like, oh my God, Colgate are doing eco-friendly toothpaste yeah in packaging so yes great this is recyclable um but i was expecting something a little bit different to this so yeah. this is a recyclable tube but it's still plastic so right. i was expecting it to be something else and also you're paying three pounds fifty for this this is tiny a normal colgate whitening thing is like 250 for a much larger one so okay. i really think that they are taking the mick with just quickly because i can hear my little one calling yes. for me they also do those um other brands they do those little pills that you can yes the toothpaste in a jar things. yes i've got to go Mwah. so okay. much love Mwah. Oh, i'm gonna do the draw quickly thank you for joining yes. us Elise. thank you for okay coming. so much love Lots bye of bye love. Love. 
Okay, guys. So I'm going to do the draw. Um, so let's do it. So everybody who joins uh, from last week gets entered in. And let me just see who this is. Oh, my gosh. Um, Atta Can Can 189. You are the winner. So thank you so much, guys. Um, we are going to post this live i'm sorry we went over time a little bit um but i'm we're really looking forward to seeing you next sunday at 5 30. if anyone's got any further comments or um things that they want us to talk about issues that they want us to raise um or or topics that they want us to delve into please just send myself or um love lisa singer a dm and we'll certainly look into it for you um sorry we have gone over time as always, <laughs> um, thank you so much, guys. Lots of love, and we'll post all of the uh, brands and products and descriptions um, for what we've talked about into the description um, in just a sec. Thanks, guys. Have an amazing, amazing Sunday and a wonderful week, and we will see you next Sunday. Mwah.